you know, we're definitely taking time to focus on ourselves. And, you know, we do talk. We are the best of friends. There is no bad will towards each other or any fighting, none of that, which is great. So it's, you know, we're just kind of like, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And I know, Savannah, obviously you went through a breakup during this time, and I wanted to see how you were doing. You know what? I'm doing great. I think, you know, Nick and I... We're on good terms. There's, we're both so young and ambitious and kind of doing, you know, we're trying to find our way in life and we're young. You know, what I love is nothing, no decision is ever permanent. Mm -hmm. So you never know what can happen. We have the rest of our lives to figure things out. So it's kind of, it's 2020, you know, so who <laughs> knows what's going to happen. Are you guys still trying to figure things out? Are you in communication or are you just kind of taking time to focus on yourself? You know, we're definitely taking time to focus on ourselves and, you know, we do talk. We are the best of friends. There is no bad will towards each other or any fighting, none of that, which is great. So it's, you know, we're just kind of like, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. There's no pressure on anything. And his life is crazy right now. My life is crazy right now. We're, we both want to be successful in our careers. So that is a huge focus for us. Definitely. Are you dating again? No, I'm not. You know, I'm focusing on me and I feel like that is the best way to go. And, you know, it is what it is. Definitely. Chase, are you still friendly with Nick as well? Uh, I am friendly with Nick. I mean, my, like Savannah and Nick, they, they've been together or they were together for a long time. So um, as long as he treats her right and he's respectful to her and then everything is good. Definitely. Is it going to be hard watching back? Because I don't know if a lot of the wedding planning is in the second half of the season. Is that going to be hard for you to watch you back? Know, we already kind of went through right. that. And yeah. It's going to be very hard for me hard. because I was really looking forward to that event. Be <laughs> quiet. No, there's really nothing. I think we kind of, you know, put that part in the past and we've kind of already dealt with that on TV. There definitely is, you know, there will be some maybe talk about it, but I've kind of tried to keep it to myself because the public loves to have an opinion and we kind of put ourselves in that situation when we put our lives on TV. Mm -hmm. But I've gotten to the point to where it's, you know, I get to make whatever decision I want to make for myself and I don't want anyone else's input because I have to do what's best for me. Sure. So I'm kind of trying to keep a little bit, like a little part of my life sacred. Definitely. I mean, do you think maybe going forward um, that maybe you would keep your relationships a little bit more private? I think so. It's hard. I, it's so easy to say that now, but then whenever you're with someone and you're like, they're the greatest thing in the world, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to keep it. So I mean, it's not keeping it private now. <laughs> who knows? I, probably, I, I will say that I've learned from this whole relationship that it probably is best to keep things private because you that removes a whole, that removes just a sense of safety from your relationship when you put it out here to the public and it just allows for room for so many different people to come in so it's just easier to keep it quiet private. yeah definitely but you are you want to get married because I, I know before we talked you you want to have babies that's in the future so oh, yeah. it's definitely what you want next it is, it is. And you know, I think there was a time where I got so wrapped up and growing up in the South and kind of the way of the love life here and you get married young, you have kids young. And right now I'm just at a very, I'm in a very interesting phase of life to where I'm just a young woman trying to come into myself and I feel very empowered and very liberated to share my voice and have my voice heard and to follow my dreams and to show that I can do anything that a man can do and most likely do it better. So good for you. I think that's great.